Hey guys, here I am at lot 21 over here on Watervale. I'm gonna go ahead and go kind of turn around a little bit so you can see Watervale. And I know you've seen the Holly Forest map that this road goes on around, but it's just up around the curve where all these trucks are coming from. That road ends right there, so they haven't kind of completed it. But I just want to give you a little uh, little turn around here, let you see it. And up here where they are kind of turning that corner right there, those trucks are that uh, so that is where the if you look at my video that intersects right up the right up ahead at the uh, close to where the model close to where the model is. Okay, so this is Watervale. I just wanted you guys to see that. Okay. So, they haven't really started these houses yet. As you can see, this is all dirt out here. They've got some pads built up for them. That's what they're doing. The dirt they build up the pads, but they still got to put the floor. do all that stuff. And this is 21. This is where the Camden bonus is going to go. Okay. So I'm standing up on top of the pad now. So this is walking through the house. Okay. Of course, this is, looks like this is where the master bedroom is going to be on this side, just by the dirt. Of course, our porch area here, walking towards the back of the house. This right here, 21, of course, is on the very narrow tip of the lake, the corner of the lake, looking down towards where the lily pads and all are. And of course, as you know, that's St. John's Parkway out there tell how far it's I don't know I'm never good at estimating distances like that so we're probably looking at I don't know 150 feet 200 probably 200 feet probably a couple hundred feet and I'm standing on the back of it looking back towards Watervale so what I'd like to do this is 21 and that's kind of cool here's here you go FFE they've already because this is all part of the original surveying of this lot FFE floor finished floor elevation it's gonna be 26 and a half feet above sea level super high Awesome, awesome. Oops, sorry about that. Slipped off the mud here. I'm gonna take a little walk down. I figure we'll just walk it together. Go to 26. So that was 21. This should be on 22 now. This one's coming up should be 23. This should be 23. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. It's beautiful down. Look at that sky. Little wispy clouds. That's it. All right. Gonna, are we getting close here to 26? Doo -doo. Go find me a marker here. All right. Let's see what we got. I see some. I see a marker coming on that corner stake up there for the lot anytime you see orange ribbons that's a that's a lot stake all right that's 25 so this one on this side of it's 26 okay that's 25 this one's gonna be 26 okay here we are we're in the middle of 26 now down corner into this into the corner where it's gonna go to the next phase so this is about yep here it is this is the middle of 26 okay middle of 26 come on back here now we're getting, of course, into the thicker part of the lake. Okay. It's a nice lot. Because as you come back here to the back side of this lot, I'm going to send you guys to the scan I got from Ron here. The, the plat map information, too, for the lots in this, all of them down in this one area. So you'll have the measurements and everything. I'll send all that up to you guys tonight. It's kind of drones it out because I've got wind in mind. I'm trying to keep my hand over this microphone so it doesn't catch all this wind. 
but you get a little bit of road noise because it's still pretty far away. We just got to the thick part of the lake too. So you got that view over there too from here. That's not bad at all. Hmm. It's a really nice lot. So this is 26. Okay. Not a whole lot to look at, but dirt. It looks like they're doing a start over there. They got a house going up over there. Got, a, got one going up over down there. So starting to put some, pull some things up out of the ground. Actually, there's two over there and one over there. So we're starting to pull some things up out of the ground here. Okay. Anyway, so there you go. 21 and 26. And uh, give us some feedback. And uh, we'll keep you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks. Hey, guys. Just thought you'd want a perspective of where those lots sit in relation to... Um, Silverleaf Parkway here. I mean, it's a school. There's Silverleaf Parkway over there. Quite a bit of distance with this grass right here. I'm standing on a sidewalk that runs the entire distance over Silverleaf Parkway. It's my truck sitting over there. So I just thought you'd want to see kind of the relationship. We got the high tension lines going through here on the main right of way. But over here, so my, to be honest with you, my, uh, Estimation in the other video is probably way off. It's probably a lot further than that. I said a couple hundred feet. You know, that's that's quite a bit of distance between even the pond and St. John's Parkway. So I was from a perspective perspective, I was way off. So this is gonna be about where a lot. 21 is about where that front end loader is actually just past well actually just to the right of the front end loader over there if you can see it All right and then lot 26 of course is further down the lake putting it further away from everything but still 21's nice it's just on a very thin part of the lake right there that's gonna be about yeah, lot 21 in here and lot 26 down in there, way down there, okay? Just wanted you to kind of see the perspective from this side. Again, I'm standing along Silverleaf Parkway here. Right underneath the power lines. But you really can't see, I mean, you know they're there from the other side of the lots, but they're so far away, they're not really not always in your vision. Okay, you can see them in my videos too, so. All right, not a big deal there. Perspectives, distances, that's quite a bit. It's a lot further than I thought from the other side. I'm glad I stopped. All right, guys. Thanks.